Hi, this is Brian. I'm the author of the book, The Complete Guide to U.S. Junk Silver Coins, which is available on Amazon. I've been working on a second edition of the book, and I'm going to include Canadian silver coinage in that second edition. So I've been playing around with them a little bit. Um, today we're going to talk about Canadian coinage and specific gravity. Um, most Canadian, Canadian silver coins you'll come across are 80% silver or 50% silver. There's also some really old stuff that's sterling silver. But today we're going to focus on the 80% and 50% silver coins. Um, in 1967, um, dimes and quarters for Canada were made in both 80% silver and 50% silver because mid-year they changed the composition. So if you come across a 1967 quarter dime um, that's Canadian, um, it could be either 50% or 80%. And specific gravity is one tool you can use to try to determine um, if it's 80% or 50% silver. So um, the specific gravity of silver is 10.49, copper is 8.92. If you do some math, um, you can determine that an 80% silver coin um, with, with the balance of copper should be a specific gravity of 10.13, and a 50% silver, 50% um, copper coin should have a specific gravity of around 9.64. To test this, you're going to need a, a scale and I use um, an AWS 100, which is available on Amazon for around $9. They're very cheap. A little cup of water and some thread or dental floss. Okay, and you'll need the coins to test. So today we're going to test a 1963 coin that's 80% silver and a 1968 non-magnetic um, quarter that is 50% silver. Um, in 1968, they also made... Um, totally non-silver quarters and dimes, the way you can tell is if the if the dime or quarter is attracted to a magnet, then there's no silver in it. It's a nickel, made of nickel. If it is non-magnetic, then it's 50% silver for the 1968 Canadian quarters and dimes. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do here is go ahead and turn on the scale. And we're going to take our 1963 Canadian quarter that's 80% silver. Place it on the scale and we're getting a reading of 5.89 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Okay, let's move on to the 1968 50% quarter and we're getting a reading of 5.59. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the little cup of water on the scale. And then we're going to press the tear button, which will zero out the scale. Okay, and now what we need to do, I'm going to take the 1963 quarter and I'm going to um, put it on the, the little piece of dental floss I have. I already have it pre-tied. And what we're going to do is very carefully suspend it in the water And you want to make make sure it's not touching the sides or touching the bottom. It should just be kind of floating in there, just suspended by this piece of floss. And we're getting a reading of 0.59 grams. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Okay, I'm going to move over and put the 1968 Canadian quarter on the piece of dental floss. And we're going to tear out the scale again to reset it to zero. Okay, and we're going to put this in. And we are getting a reading of 0.58. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Okay. Go ahead and turn that off. Move this over here so you can see it. Okay, so that's the numbers we got. So now what we need to do is take a calculator and we're going to divide, um, we're going to take the 5.89 weight and divide by 0.59 and what we came up with is a specific gravity that was, let me write this down here, 9.98, okay, the 80% coin. Then what we're going to do 
let's calculate the 68 50% one. So we're going to take 5.59 divide by 0.58, and we come up with 9.63. Um, Seven. So we'll round that to 9.64. Okay. Let me zoom out here a little bit. So this is what we expected to see right here. The 50% silver should be 9.64, which is actually exactly what we got. And the 80% silver, 10.13, and we got 9.98. So you can see that specific gravity um, can be... Uh, a useful tool to determine um, if a coin is, you know, what what percentage of silver it is. Um, you can also use it when you're trying to de detect a counterfeit coin. It can be useful as well. So I hope this uh, video was useful. Um, if you liked it, please consider checking out my book. Again, it's called The Complete Guide to U.S. Junk Silver Coins, and in the second edition, which will be up and coming probably in the next sometime in the next year, will also include Canadian. Um, silver coins. So thanks a lot. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments.